Reviewing the traffic volumes and the average CPC for different product categories within your Google Shopping campaigns is one of the fastest and most secure ways that you can quickly increase the performance of your Google Shopping campaigns. I find that too often many people get so caught up in optimizing their product titles, reviewing search terms, going through and trying to pick the best bidding strategies in their shopping campaigns that they lose sight of this simple and surefire way to increase the performance of your shopping campaigns. Now, I'm not saying that you don't need to optimize your shopping titles or review your search terms regularly, also going through and making those optimizations to your audiences and your bidding strategies, because all of those actions are very important. But if you're only doing those optimizations, your account will have some limitations. And the reason for that is that you need to remember that your spending is set at a campaign level. So if you have a collection of products with a really high volume, they are always gonna be taking the vast majority of your campaign expenditure. Because the Google algorithm will favor those products because it knows that if you can optimize those products, you're gonna be seeing more revenue in your business. The problem is though, is that those low volume, high converting products are left behind. And these can be the ones which can make a really big difference to your campaign especially if those low volume products have a really high revenue. And that's why it's important for you to review the CPC or the average cost per click for your different product categories and also review their corresponding traffic volumes and conversion rates. And by putting this strategy in place for a new account that I've just recently taken on, in a 21 day period, I was able to increase their total revenue by 62% while they only saw a small increase in their expenditure of 32%. With the sole action being me reviewing their cost per click and their traffic volumes and their conversion rates, and then breaking their current campaign out into three separate shopping campaigns. And what's more, we've got these results while two of those new campaigns are still in the learning phase. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what the issue is, but more importantly, how you can fix it and how you can implement this strategy and see the same level of results in your own Google Ads account. But just before we get into all of that great teaching, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you're having some issues with your Google shopping campaigns, I wanna help you with my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And this is a checklist that I put together which lets me know exactly what I need to be checking and optimizing in my Google shopping campaigns every 72 hours every week, every month, and every 90 days. And you can get your copy right now for free with all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. So right now, let's take a look at what that issue is. And the issue is quite common in these product groups. And we've filtered this down by cost. And you can see here that the highest cost products are driving this conversion value cost, which is around about the account average. But then if we filter it down by the conversion value cost, you can see that there's some of these high performing products which have a high conversion value versus the cost. And some of them are even converting at 100% after three clicks, so really high conversion rates, but they're just not getting the traffic volume that they deserve. And once again, this is because these high volume products are taking up all of that spend. So there's just no spend left for these low volume, high converting products. So avoid this situation where you've got a small percentage of your products taking the vast majority of your ad spend, you wanna go through and review your product groups, looking at their CPC and traffic volumes, and how they perform in relation to your conversion rates and your ROAS scores. And with this account that we're talking about today, I broke it into three separate shopping campaigns. The first one with their high volume products, the second campaign was based on their mid-volume products, which also had a mid-range ROAS. And then their third and final campaign focused on low-volume products that had a really high conversion rate. And the other advantage of this is this allowed us to go through and add in some extra high-level optimizations. With the main one being that we could tailor the target ROAS goals for each of these individual campaigns. So in this one in here, we've got a high-volume campaign, and the second one is the mid-volume, mid-ROAS, and this third one is the low-volume, high-ROAS. And what you can see here, as expected, this low-volume has the highest ROAS, but what we've been able to do is we've been able to increase these impressions and clicks that these group of products that was getting, and they're now getting up to 57% of their search impression share. But I want you to notice how it affects the total impression 
participation share. This high volume getting 18% and the total is only getting 19%. So we're getting 57% in this low volume, but it's barely changing this total search impression share. And that's why you wanna break it into these individual campaigns based on volume and your ROAS scores for two reasons. Firstly, you can tailor these budgets so that these high volume products aren't taking all the spend away from these high converting products. And then the other benefit is it allows you to tailor your bidding strategies dependent on the different collection of products. Because these convert at different levels and they have different conversion value cost scores, they need a different target ROAS setting. So by breaking it out and adding in some extra campaigns, you're getting those two core benefits of you're making sure all of your products are getting the relevant levels of traffic while also using the correct target ROAS. And we know that if you don't have your target row set correctly, it can severely limit your clicks and impressions and ultimately your conversions. And what I've done, I've exported all these results out into a Google Data Studio report so that you can see this. And you can see we had an increased spend of 32%, but then the conversion value went up by 67%. And you can even see that we increased the level of impressions. And then you can also see from there, we saw a higher level of conversions and we saw that conversion value cost drop down. With the biggest one seeing that we actually saw an increase of a 43% increase in their conversion rate. So all of their core metrics increased by implementing this new campaign structure. So right now I want you to go through and review your Google Shopping campaigns to see if you can improve the performance of these campaigns by adding in a better product segmentation into your campaigns so that you can make sure that all of your products are getting their fair share of traffic volume that they need. And remember, if you wanted that extra helping hand with your shopping campaigns, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below so that you can get a copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist for shopping campaigns. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young, and if you'd like to right now learn more about how you can go through and optimize your shopping campaigns, all you need to do is to go through and watch this link right here. Thank you again, see ya.